First Nephi, Chapter 17 Nephi is commanded to build a ship. His brethren oppose him. He exhorts them by recounting the history of God's dealings with Israel. He is filled with the power of God. His brethren are forbidden to touch him, lest they wither as a dried reed. And it came to pass that we did again take our journey in the wilderness, and we did travel nearly eastward from that time forth. And we did travel and wade through much affliction in the wilderness, and our women did bear children in the wilderness. And so great were the blessings of the Lord upon us, that while we did live upon raw meat in the wilderness, our women did give plenty of suck for their children, and were strong yea, even like unto the men. And they began to bear their journeyings without murmurings. And thus we see that the commandments of God must be fulfilled. And if it so be that the children of men keep the commandments of God, he doth nourish them, and strengthen them, and provide means whereby they can accomplish the thing which he has commanded them. Wherefore, he did provide means for us, while we did sojourn in the wilderness. And we did sojourn for the space of many years, yea, even eight years in the wilderness. And we did come to the land which we called Bountiful, because of its much fruit, and also wild honey. And all these things were prepared of the Lord, that we might not perish. And we beheld the sea, which we called Eriantum, which, being interpreted, is many waters. And it came to pass that we did pitch our tents by the seashore, and notwithstanding we had suffered many afflictions and much difficulty, yea, even so much that we cannot write them all, we were exceedingly rejoiced when we came to the seashore, and we called the place Bountiful, because of its much fruit. And it came to pass that after I, Nephi, had been in the land of Bountiful for the space of many days, the voice of the Lord came unto me, saying, Arise, and get thee into the mountain. And it came to pass that I arose, and went up into the mountain, and cried unto the Lord. And it came to pass that the Lord spake unto me, saying, Thou shalt construct a ship after the manner which I shall show thee, that I may carry thy people across these waters. And I said, Lord, whither shall I go that I may find ore to molten, that I may make tools to construct the ship after the manner which thou hast shown unto me? And it came to pass that the Lord told me whither I should go to find ore, that I might make tools. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, did make a bellows, wherewith to blow the fire of the skins of beasts. And after I had made a bellows that I might have wherewith to blow the fire, I did smite two stones together, <laughs> that I might make fire. For the Lord had not hitherto suffered that we should make much fire, as we journeyed in the wilderness. For he said, I will make thy food become sweet, that ye cook it not. And I will also be your light in the wilderness, and I will prepare the way before you, if it so be that ye shall keep my commandments. Wherefore, inasmuch as ye shall keep my commandments, ye shall be led towards the promised land, and ye shall know that it is by me that ye are led. Yea, and the Lord said also that, after ye have arrived in the promised land, ye shall know that I the Lord am God, and that I the Lord did deliver you from destruction, yea, that I did bring you out of the land of Jerusalem. Wherefore, I, Nephi, did strive to keep the commandments of the Lord, and I did exhort my brethren to faithfulness and diligence. And it came to pass that I did make tools of the ore, which I did molten out of the rock. And when my brethren saw that I was about to build a ship, they began to murmur against me, saying, 
Our brother is a fool, for he thinketh that he can build a ship, yea, and he also thinketh that he can cross these great waters. And thus my brethren did complain against me, and were desirous that they might not labor, for they did not believe that I could build a ship, neither would they believe that I was instructed of the Lord.